Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a good wherever you are. Welcome to Websites for Beginners. If it's your first time to this channel, welcome. If you've been a subscriber, you would probably ask me, JB, where you've been? Busy working, busy, busy, busy. So why am I opening this new series for Total Beginners, WordPress and making your own website 2023? I've recently been contacted by so many people saying, can you do this? Can you help us with this? And it always surprises me to realize how many newcomers there are to the world of making websites and that the tutorials, even the plethora of tutorials on YouTube just doesn't address that need. So I am JP. I've been training for oh, as long as I can remember, and I hope to help bring you from someone who knows nothing about websites, no coding, no experience into making your website for yourself. Or if you are interested in making a company, maybe, maybe making websites for other people in the future. But I think begin by just practicing by yourself. I'm going to show you tools in the next videos that you can use to practice for free. Everything we're going to do here, you can do at home without spending a cent. And then once you want to go the extra by publishing online, that's where you will have to start taking out a little bit of money. So I have a few notes that I don't forget and don't talk too long. I, I've already talked about who I am. So this series is a little bit different to what I usually do. Usually we take a page, I show you exactly what to do, and we go from the beginning to the end. But I try to figure out how I can get you to build a page very quickly with zero knowledge of WordPress, which is the platform that we will be using combined with a theme which is called Bloxy, combined with a page builder, which is called Brizzy. So even though we are using WordPress to create this website, think of WordPress like PowerPoint. And then think of Bloxy like the theme, the style that you can choose in PowerPoint, what colors, what fonts. And then think of Brizzy as a plugin that you can put into PowerPoint to create additional content for your slides. That is why sometimes it feels a little bit weird because other systems like Wix, uh, Squarespace, etc., they give you everything in one go. You don't need to install anything. Everything is already there. But the benefit with WordPress is it's an open field. So many people are contributing to it. So you get a lot of super stuff and the world is your oyster. You can choose what you want to bring in it. Just remember with that, you get a lot of crap uh, as well. So we try to filter through all that noise and just give you the basic stuff. We're going to be using WordPress because it's super popular, super flexible, and there's a lot of options. And I'm going to give you all the tools that you can use to build out a website. And we're going to be making a one page website. One pages are excellent if you just have a small little business like a coffee shop or a barber shop. You don't need five pages for it. One pages are also good that on mobile display, you do know that when you're on a mobile and you're looking at something, it's much easier to scroll down than it is to scroll up every time, click on the menu and navigate to another page. So it's one of those things that you can consider. One page is actually very much easier to interact with on a phone than constant jumping between pages. Even though I make multi-pages all the time, I'm just trying to explain to you, don't feel sad that you're just going to be making one page. So who are you? You are a person who's never touched WordPress or any website design. You've heard of it. You may have tried a little. You have no technical skills. You don't know how to code, maybe no design skills as well. But you've heard, hmm, Sally, that you can actually create a site without any of that. And that is true. A lot of these platforms that you see and tutorials online will tell you no coding. And then I'm surprised that very soon they are showing you how to add code to your site. Yes, you can do more with code. If you are running a super shop like Amazon, you definitely need a developer to run that for you. You don't need Amazon level. You'll do it with no coding, no experience, and you're going to save tons of money. And I'm talking too much, but I really want to understand this is a total beginner's course, but with a catch. I'm not going to explain each and everything for you because I want to, in this specific series, take you very quickly to a level where you feel you've achieved something. It's outcome-based. And then in future series and other videos, 
I will show you detailed stuff as to what is a permalink, what is a slug, why do you do this and why do you do that. I said we want to get to outcomes as soon as possible, but before that you need to actually set up WordPress. And to do that, mostly you need a host. Again, I'm not going to explain to you what is host or how you should choose a host. All I have to tell you is that you will need a host, but a host is going to cost you money. And I mentioned a few moments earlier that I don't want you to spend any money. So there's a solution. And I'm going to give you two options. In the next video, I'm going to tell you how you can do it on your computer with a little software called Local. Then after that, in the third video, I'm going to tell you how you can do that with a host that gives you a free option to design it online called Wordify. You can look at these two options and decide which one works for you. I go with the second one. Why? And the reason is for some reason, the local ones on your computer is just a little bit slower. The ones that are online, they just go much, much quicker. Both of them are available. Both of them are popular and I'll show you both. You can choose, but to follow along, you will need to install WordPress. Last one, I'm going to for our final website, add images to the website that you can download. They won't be available at this moment of this video. They'll be available in a week or two's time, but you can download them. They all come from a brilliant website called freepeak.com. These images you can download from them for free and you can use them with the license agreement. I'm going to provide them in the folder for you to download, but I want you to know that they come from FreePick and that you just cannot use them as your own. You need to go and actually register on FreePick and maybe download it from there. The reason I'm giving it to you and not letting you go through that process is because once you download it from FreePick, these images run you. They are mega big. And when we are working with websites, we don't want big images because if they are big, big in size, they slow us down and they make search engines like Bing, and Chrome, very unhappy. So what I've done, I've optimized these images already. I've cut them down to smaller size and I have exported them into a low quality so that their size is small and that we can use them on the website and everybody's happy. So remember that link, I will post it again later when we get to the website and we'll be using those images, but just remember freepick.com. Let's get started.